What's up guys and welcome to my channel. This is Madrussian Gamer and we are getting closer and closer to the end of Call of Duty series and today in my game list is Call of Duty Ghosts and we'll look towards a single player campaign as always. And let me share with you a little bit of information about this game just for the people who never played it before or didn't have a chance to try it. So this game was released in 2013 and here the story is mostly told through the eyes of a single character, Logan Walker. Players assume the role of Logan for most of the game with several other playable characters including an astronaut specialist named Baker, Sergeant Thompson, a um, member of Icarus and Logan's father Elias Walker with an all new option to play as Riley, the first non-human playable character in the franchise. Alright, this is my first time playing this game, never played it before and really excited to finish it. And of course, if you enjoyed previous walkthroughs and really excited to see this one from me and more Call of Duty or any other games, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to leave a like as it keeps me motivated to upload more videos for you and if you have any feedback, make sure to leave it in the comment section. Okay, enough talking and let's get started. So we start in a new game. This game saves data automatically, yes. Uh, okay, and the uh, difficulty level, as always, is regular. It was a different time. Because I don't want to struggle. 60 men from tier one teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective, to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. <laughs> For three days they held their ground, but the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades, and when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. Okay, pretty cool beginning. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. <laughs> let's go then. Let's see. Oh, no tremor there. <laughs> Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. That's interesting. Another one? Yeah, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Hmm, what's Wind happening? Pick up too. That? Oh, damn. Let's just get to the house, make sure nothing got damaged. I don't know how I feel about that much shaking of a camera. Holy crap. Down that looks this way, Logan, scary. Get inside. What the hell is that talking about? What's O 
happened there. Ten minutes earlier. Odin Control, the orbital weapons got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, dry fire signal. Hey Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. Begin rotate. Five meters, payload. Huh, what's going on? Two meters. Oh, okay. Where are we going? It looks so awesome. Clearly see that they really improved Mostly, graphics in this game. The same time, it's pretty cool when you're playing some kind of a series that started like way long time ago. Like I started with Call of Duty One and going towards the latest ones so far, and uh, you see like. In every single game, they improve in the graphics and how it's changing. It's a pretty amazing thing. Hey Baker, give me a hand with the unload. Okay, I'm coming. What the hell? Want me to close the door or something? Never know if they'll. Ch oh, here you go. What's happened? I don't even aim with the mouse. That's what I did. There you go. Houston, the Federation, they've broken the truce. Odin Control, Odin's kinetic rods are readying for launch. This is not a simulation. We can't let them take control of Odin. Odin Control, Federation forces are in Africa. Hmm. Reloading. What a smart idea to fight the space station. Okay, where are we going, man? Those are pretty huge missiles. Let's see. Oh god. Chicago, Washington, D.C. 
Screw this guys. Don't fly away from me thing. Get back over here. We need to make it to the home somehow. Shut this thing off. survive. No, there's no way. Scary weapon, I would say. Get across, quick. Oh man, I'm following you. Keep running, we can get through this. Through that house. Everything started so nice. And where we are now again. Stop getting stuck everywhere. I was going faster because this idiot is keep getting stuck everywhere. It's not my fault. He's catching every corner probably with this pinky toe or something. I don't know. Through the roof. Alright. Come on, don't you see this? This is not my freaking fault. Oh, what the hell? How the hell am I supposed to go there if he's getting stuck on every single bump? He doesn't have legs or something? I don't know. Yeah, we gotta jump. Then you have to get up and get stuck on every single bump again. Cause you're a dumbass. Come on! The hell! I can't get through this freaking door. That's what's happening. Like, what the hell is wrong with this game? It's already started pissing me off since the freaking beginning. Just jump already. Whatever. Stuck on the loop. Right 
Well, I can't get through this thing. And I can't get through this thing either. Because this dumbass is getting stuck everywhere. <laughs> I freaking can. I'm just gonna close this game and switch to something different right now. Seriously, like what the hell is that? How the hell did it went through that first time? Easily. Without no issues. Now look at this crap, it's like... Okay, and... I can't get up! God damn it. Just keep running. We screwed, man. That's it. Why didn't you let me die over there? Like when I was keep getting stuck on the freaking stairs. Apparently this guy doesn't have a legs or something. God damn this game. First mission is already pissing me off. Like, seriously. Just get out of here already. really not sure what's going on to be honest because if they destroyed the satellite launching station station why are they still getting Federation attacked over here engines rise to power had started years ago when the great energy producing deserts were destroyed the world powers that depended on them collapsed and in their wake the federation began to rise the Federation united all of South America under one banner and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. Damn. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Ten years later. Viking six, you there? Hesh. Logan. Uh, copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. Command wants another sweep of the wall ASAP. Oh, shit. Any survivors? Negative. Brave New World, June 6th, Los Angeles, California. Thought you could use a sleep. Quiet, boy. Riley. Oh, it's a dog. Hey, Riley's got something. Grab your gear. Let's move. Okay. Does the ball count as a gear too? Negative. We're outside. Your boy's got something. Riley does. We're checking it now. Okay, it doesn't look too bad so far. Like some kind of a post apocalyptic world, I'm assuming. We're going to play. Oh, he finally learned how to walk. 
for 10 years. It's a deer. A lot of deer. Guess Riley was getting hungry. You don't want to eat anything out here, boy. Let's head back, eat some real food. Six one, zip rep. Just some local wildlife. We're good. Check. We're moving up to RP Silver, copy. Yeah, we'll join you. Meet us at the wall. We're on our way out. Roger. Reminds me of a world of the last of us. Meet the team two at the wall. Looks kind of really similar. She is. Looking like hell. Still standing. Yo, so Sergeant, cool. Your area secure? Just about. You need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it. What the heck is going on here? Damn, man. Oh god. Well... They didn't make it. Okay, cover your ass, man. Something unusual from what we used to see. Well, I mean, they freaking kill me right now with grenades and all their crap. Oh, I'll feel better. I'm gonna take down this freaking helicopter now. Right. Hold on. Just keep shooting at me. That's the question. So many of them. Okay. 
What? Oh. Was it one of ours again? Next. This way, right. Logan, grab a launcher. Take care of the birds. We'll cover you. Hold on a second. That's better. Easy, boy. Easy. Riley, go. Okay, that doesn't look right over here. Yep. what I did. Shoot, god damn it, you didn't reload? Oh, you dumbass. I'm waiting here thinking like, what the hell is going on, actually? Is not freaking the end or what? Yeah, here you go. We're clear. Yeah, that's fine. Corporal Davis, you're on transport. Roger, commandeering for transport. Logan, you're on security in the back. How many ammo do I have? I don't know where was my gun. This is not what I got here. It's weird. Ah, uh, whatever. Just keep moving. Open the door. Let's keep going, yes, but what do you want me to do? What's the freaking objective? So it's anything. I don't see any markers here. I know, man. Tell me where to go. I'm here. Who the hell is talking to me? Are you? Let's go, Logan. Bark, bark. Come on, gotta keep moving. What is hell is going on with this game? Of Let's course. Keep Truck. Open the doors then. Bark, bark. It's a cute dog. Uh, 
I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I, we're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long. So I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with a recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. That's actually pretty cool. We call it no man's land. A span of destruction between LA and San Diego. Created when Odin was turned against us. The beaches and surf breaks of my own childhood were now mined and abandoned. Dad told us few men got to operate in no man's land. It was too dangerous. Too unpredictable. If he was sending us out there, it must have been important to him. Still, I couldn't help but think this was another one of his tests. A lesson he was trying to teach us. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna stop here for today. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.